שוכן במרומים. המצאי מנוחה נכונה על כנפי השכינה במעלות כדורשים ותיארים כזוהר הרקיע מזהירים את נשמות אחינו בני ישראל שנהרגו באושוויץ, ברלזק, בגן ברסן, דחאו, מיידנק, סוביבור, טרבלינקה ובישה מחנות אשמת באירופה. בעבור שאנו מתפלאים על השכלת נשמתם בגן עדן, תהי מנוחת אבם. לכן בעל הרחמים יסתירם וסדק נפם לעולמים וצרור יצרור החיים את נשמתם אדוני ונחלתם וינוחו על משכבם ושלום ונאמר Shifting shit was one of my happier jobs in the camp. It was a great step up in the Auschwitz world when I was drafted into the Scheitzer Commando. In the Scheitzer Commando, digging out the mess from underneath and carrying it away in buckets on a yoke across my shoulders to be dumped in the pits, I had the privilege of frequent access to the toilets. This meant 20 times the conversation and organising I'd been able to manage up until now. It's shattering. It's an image of hell. It's an image of what, um, what human beings can deceive themselves into doing. And the, the physical actuality of what's left, the, the shoes, the hair, I suppose is the thing that will stay with me most. But also this huge, desolate area at Birkenau. Uh, this is testimony from Helen Lewis, who now lives in the UK and who originated in the Czech Republic. We travelled in conditions designed to inflict the greatest possible suffering. Old and young, invalids and babies were all crammed together so tightly it was impossible to move. There was no water and one bucket. When the train moved out of Terezin station, many panicked. Others wept, a few prayed, and most sank into silent despair. At night the train arrived in Prague and stopped there for a while, a long line of sealed cattle wagons, each with a tiny window behind a grill. There must have been people on the station platform, people, mu- people, who, must- people who-, who saw and heard. What did they think? What did they know? How much did they care? I will never forget the words of a great Holocaust historian, Lucy Davidovitz who worried at the end of her life that children will learn about the Greeks and how they lived, the Romans and how they lived, the Jews and how they died.